description just now, but just share a bit of who you are, your testimony, so that our, our, our listeners can make that connection with who you are. Okay. My name is Tanis, Minister Tanisha Shah. As you know, as, as she was stated that before, I was a regular girl like everybody else out oh, there, smoke weed, go party, from party to party to party to party. Now I'm preaching the gospel from booking to booking to minister, minister, minister. What am I saying to somebody out there? My, my, my testimony can be your testimony also. God is not a respect of no one. And I want to tell a young girl out there, a big woman out there, a mother, a father, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, that Jesus Christ is Lord. And when you get God, you, you will never be the same. It ought to come in contact with this man named Jesus and still be the same. I can't imagine to see nobody does it better. It come in like Burger King to me after having his way. Because the thing is that when you're out there outside in the world, not knowing God, you have a blind something Light to you because we live out there things that bring songs and come to us smoke me and out there pick on people, man. Excuse me, don't have to be real because we have a real God in you know, our real world. Because somebody are listening to me when well, can testify and can relate to, to what I am saying. But I'm saying this when well, you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you make an error because life is spiritual. Life is spiritual, and when we live like that, we are living because if you are not looking at it in a different dimension you will cause an error and the more you're in a is sin but there is a living in sin if you're not safe you're not safe wow 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 there is a, a there's an atmosphere here there is an atmosphere you can feel it chills up my spine ah minister shaw minister shaw what a blessing to have you here ah and and ladies and gentlemen if you can't see well you're we're live on youtube so you can see we're in fact live on youtube and as you can see she's very animated she's very passionate about what she is saying because she has felt the hand of god and so she can speak here today passionately about her experience and i just want to i just want to remind you that we are in radio town 2021 and miss shaw minister shaw let me just be correct with the title and the naming minister shaw what has your experience taught you about a period like this? A period like Red Hat 2021. My experience taught me that God will take anybody, anybody, me not care who you be. You could have be a nice man, a good man, a thief, a prostitute, and make you be known. And when God gives you, this is why you need to learn the art of prayer and know the power of prayer and what it can do. It shifts atmosphere, it shifts any nature. It does something different. When you carry the presence of God, your life will never be the same. You cannot be anointed and unnamed. Let me tell you something. Something. I never know you. I never knew Gospel J.A. But because of the grace and because of the power and the anointing, they get to have an assignment. And this is the season where God is raising up some apostolic woman like the more of where they're going to build, they're going to reaffirm, they're going to govern, and they're going to matter. There's something that is going on different. And we have to be sensitive like the kind of like the sons of Ezekiah to what time and season. There's no time to delay God no. There's no time to not watching God no. There's not no time to no one get into the word and sit at his presence. Because in his presence there is fullness of joy. In his presence there is a liberty. In his presence never can stay around you when you carry the presence of God. So I want to tell somebody out here today, if you're not carrying the presence of God, God, you're not functioning, you're not feeling, you're not living, you're barely surviving. If you don't know Jesus, you need to get in contact with the man. The man that you tell him is a young girl keeper, he is a big woman keeper, he is a father to the fatherless, he is a father to the motherless. We need to get it and we need to rise up. We are speak to somebody that's unsafe. We are speak to a Christian. If you lie down in a, in a Zion, you're going to stand up and arise. Because this is the time of the season when we understand that we are God's defender on earth out here. And we represent him. We are an ambassador for him. And we have to carry the banner. We have the power, the Bible said. He has given us the power, the keys to the kingdom. And he has given us power and authority. Sometimes our problem is a 
coming to the reason why you're out. It's because we're not praying. We need to rise up. I start praying this morning when I was ministering. I pray eternal father because I understand that eternal father bless our land. It's not only a son. It is indeed a prayer. Guide us with thy mighty hand. Keep us free from evil powers. We need to rise up. Many Christians, when they see the Bible say, when man see the enemy come and so tears. So we are Christians and we say too much. We're too lazy. The spirit of suffer needs to go. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. The spirit. the spirit is strong in this place. We have Minister Shaw inside the gospel light. And she is she is she is proclaiming she is she is speaking speaking from her experience speaking to someone out there who's listening who needs to be encouraged who needs to be lifted remember our lines are 754-3694-908-0936-305-454-8520 if you want to have a word with minister shaw at this time the lines are open and you can join us so that we can have that discussion she can pray with you pray for you as we continue in this season or feedback on our whatsapp line i want to thank you so much for joining in for those who are following us live on youtube thank you so much for keeping it locked inside the gospel light right here on gospel jafm Yes, the feedback we're getting. Powerful, powerful woman of God, mighty woman of God, mighty woman of God. Gospel J A F M. And you can find her live on YouTube. For those who want to know how how did you make how did you make that step you you gave some of your testimony as to where you were where you were in the world what you were doing but you finally made that transition what was that thing that pushed you to that make, to making that decision I, I, I was saying no. 
back up and go to church. And I didn't ask the Bible to start talking inside of me. The Bible said it's great to see that what it is. And we do greater things than what it is to feed us. So there's something in me that said me would not allow me. Never get to realize whatever burns the sin. Sin that has no team. The heart of me but sin, shame, and disgrace. The Bible said righteousness exalts a nation. And sin is a reproach and to man. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of life is eternal life. My question to somebody, do you want eternal life? Do you want to live again? Do you want to resurrect from that situation you're going through? From that circumstances? From who you are? Do you want the resurrection power of God? Let me tell you something, you can't serve two masters. You can't say you're full of God. You can't love him when you put on him. Because you don't know, understand the love of God. When God said, get hands up on the mountain. If you don't tell Sarah, if you carry the cast water, if you love God, if you love God, if you give up the man, if you love God, if you love the word, don't tell us that you love God and you remain in sin. Absolutely, absolutely. We just missed that call just now, but let me, you can call right back. You can call right back. Minister Shaw may have a word for you. If this has been your experience, if this is what you're experiencing right now, uh, there are words here of encouragement. Someone who has gone through it, someone who has had that experience, someone who has overcome, someone who has gone through so much but is able to sit here today, stand and proclaim the word of God. Good day, you are live. Good day, you are alive. Your radio is on. Turn down your radio. Turn it off, please. Hello. Yes, good day. Who am I talking to? My name is Diane. Hi, Diane. Where are you calling from? No, Saint Anne. Diane from St. Anne. Diane, are you, will you be making a pledge with us today? I already made a pledge. You already made a pledge. You want to speak directly to Minister Shaw? Um, what she was saying was just bless, um, bless my soul. And so I'm just asking for encouragement. Absolutely. Absolutely. Such a blessing when you can speak the word of God, the promises of God. 
and all we are required to do is to believe and trust that it is so because the father does not lie it is so it is so it is so good afternoon you are live good afternoon you are live hi good afternoon who am i talking to right now sasha will be making a pledge today how much will you be pledging thank you so much sasha sasha we have minister shaw on the line would you i'm giving you the opportunity minister shaw do you have a word for sasha today is there anything in particular sasha that you want the minister to, the minister to speak on regarding you and your life Good afternoon, you are live. Good afternoon, who am I talking to right now? Yes, this is Gospel JA. Who am I talking to right now? Hi, good day, Melissa. Melissa, would you like to make a pledge today? Minister Shaw. All right, uh, Melissa, Minister Shaw will do just that. As, as soon as you, you started to say something, I'm literally here. The Lord said, You need to go up, you need to dig, you need to dive in. To so, whom oh, much is given, much is required. Let me tell you something the enemy is not playing, he's not taking. In the tech day off, in the tech lunch time, in the tech break. I want to tell you this. If you, let me say this something. The Bible said that God is a jealous God. Why God is jealous? Because He don't want to share us with the devil. Let me tell you something, not soft. This is the time when you need to get serious with God and serious about Him. Let me tell you something. God has His hand on you, and you're sick that the Lord wants to release upon you. But because there's a door that open, the enemy has a way to snatch it. But I'm saying this, Melissa. I just ask because you just ask. But I know what the Spirit is saying. But the Lord is ministering to me concerning you. Said you, you, you need to. You, you want me to ask you? Could you, you could be further than where you are now? And God wants to take it to a higher level, mentally, financially, academically, economically. There is a lot of gifts that is within you. But if you're out in a sin, where do you think you're going without God? Listen to me, women out there, stand up, have some value and some morals. Let me tell you something, most of the different is a woman, I'm going to know what I'm listening to God. Let me tell you something, you're dead to me, a man can't save you. 
It was trying to lead on his life for you. Only God, whatever way you want, whatever that you desire, there is an heaven to gain and a hell to lose. You gotta make a decision. But then all day, sitting up, so long as you to sleep at night time, you want the spirit that is fighting. That you have depression, anxiety, frustration, confusion. God wants to settle your case. Then it's sad. When you read the Bible, I will say the word is true. We're not going to be a idol. 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 We're not going to be My question to you is this. We don't want life and we only want life. We want it abundantly. We don't want all that God has for you and more. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Father, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that your father will fall upon Melissa. Just let it be a crazy gospel. upon your face. May speed come out and come upon your foot. All right, all right. Thank you so much. I know, I know that message was not just for Melissa. I know there are a number of persons out there who are going through that same situation. So I know that word that came to you just now, Minister Shaw, was not just for this one person. I know that the person's listening out. We're almost out of time. But I just want you to speak over the life of our listeners before you leave. Just a final statement. What is it that you'd like to leave with them as we continue? While we are blessing you, you are blessing us. So I just want to give you the platform at this moment before you go to just speak over our listeners. You've got a number of persons calling for prayer. So we know that even though what even though one person may have gotten through on the line, we know that that prayer is also going for several persons. We understand the reach that we have, and we just want to use this opportunity to use this powerful woman of God who is in the house right now to just pray on behalf of all our listeners right now who are going through similar situations. Minister Shaw. Spirit of the living God, Father, I welcome you in every individual house, on the job, in the car, driving, on the street, listening, wherever you are, there is not a there is not a bondage or a barrier in prayer. Father, I declare, mighty God, open the authority that you place upon me. I pray for your people, mighty God, that anything, mighty God, ever has come at them by. I discard it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I release the fire upon that mighty God. I release the power upon that mighty God. Father, if there's anyone in the midst that is sick, Father, I pray that your healing grace will fall upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for somebody with a belly issue. I pray for somebody with a foot issue. I pray for somebody that trouble with migraine and their head is hurting. I pray. 
that spiritual name. Father, I declare, mighty God, Lord, I declare that you will be your people, the second your people who are called by your name, should seek you and humbly come and pray, mighty God. You will hear and heal the land. Oh God, I pray for Jamaica. I pray for the nation, mighty God. Father, God, may you visit the White House. Father, I declare, mighty God, Lord, I call for the angel with flaming sword and fire. Father, I'm going to the realms of the spirit. I'm a call for the SWAT team. Lord, I declare the commander, the angel, the commander, to go forth over your people, mighty God, and free them from black from bondage, from, from, from evil pattern and cycle, from sickness, mighty God. Father, your word said in Psalms 107, verse 20, that mighty God, you send forth the word, and it will eat and deliver them from destruction. Oh God, save somebody to the mighty God. Let somebody get a desire, mighty God. Then they won't sing no more. We don't want you the world no more. We don't want to come and do the business. We don't want to be the Oh God, the same thing will end up with this name. Oh God, somebody will run from your life. Oh, you want to run from your life, Father. Let me tell you something. Some people, the enemy, that's not all. This one will come on me, my brother. Slip on this planet. I declare over you that any evil current and cunning that has light up anything that is not of God, I shatter it. Father, I pray for them over the clear. Let fear scatter, let sickness scatter, let worry scatter, let doubt scatter, mother of scatter, everybody will feel pain, let pain scatter, Lord Jesus, let sin scatter, and be clear, mighty God, that you will take somebody, mighty God, from sin to society, from fear to fear, Lord Jesus, Christ, you can do it, mighty God, trouble him, give somebody a double because of an experience. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord do what you cannot do for yourself. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without your people. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Minister Shaw. Minister Shaw. What a blessing. What a blessing. We want to thank you so much for sharing with us. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I know you've touched persons today. I know you've touched persons. Some there are people sitting down waiting for this message. And we're so grateful that you chose to spend the time with us inside the gospel light right here on Gospel JAFM. Thank you, woman of God. God bless everyone. All right. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning. The lines remain open. The lines remain open. Seven five four six eight one two. 908-1993-754-4232. The woman of God, she came and she gave the word and we are appreciative. Continue to pledge as we go to break right here on Gospel JAFM. Come and come and come. So fast so long and name is strong. How does this make you feel? <laughs> Your smile is a vibe. Bring all the best of it with Tropics Stew Street. Made with real food for the most refreshing experience every time. Get the same great taste you love now with a new look. Enjoy more moments of real joy with Tropics and connect the smiles. Mmm, real nice. Find your favorite flavors in-store, island-wide. 